In singleton pattern, we create a class that generates one and only one object instance. Generally, object creation can be a weak point in object oriented design. It can sometimes be messy. Well designed systems generally pass object instances around via method calls. Many classes that do not use the object could be forced to accept it so that they could pass it on to the objects that work with it. This is some kind of coupling. Sometimes we may need to be sure that object values remain persistent across all the objects. That is, a value set on an object at one level should be available to the second call made from another object. So let's begin coding with this singleton pattern. So one thing we're going to do is one instance of class that we're going to do it and values should remain intact. Alright, before I code with this, let's write a very simple class and let me demonstrate what happens. Then we'll go into the singleton. So for that, let me take a class class basket and let's write a method to store the values public function set set will take two values key and a value and we're going to store this in the current object this key is equal to value and to retrieve we'll be using another method called get public function get key return this key alright we have a very simple class now let me create some objects a is equal to new basket now in a let me put some values a dot a set mm, one will be apple now again a set two mango all right let's try to display this where dump dollar a save okay it's object instance one and the first one is apple second one is mango all right let's create another object b equals new basket b dot set some three will be banana now let's var dump this object var dump dollar b if you see the basket is there basket first instance is taken into a basket the second instance is taken into b and the values are different in ba first instance you have one and two in the second instance you have three now what we want is anytime we try to create an instance the instance should be one and secondly anything stored in it should remain in the same instance a new instance should not be created for this what we're going to do is we're going to declare our constructor as private private function construct score construct all right once we have the private when you try to create a new object instance it will give an error let me show you we are trying to call to a private which is an invalid context all right so this will not work so to create instance of this class we have to create a method public function 
get instance here we're going to create the instance instance equals new static let's make a static call static object and return instance now we cannot use this new operator and this will make it as a static function so that you can directly call the method without creating an object by using as a class name basket double colon uh, get instance now let's see if this works line number 32 32 is wrong undefined method get instance I think spelling mistake INSTANC I think instance instance right undefined variable instance on line 18 all right we cannot oh okay this is again we made a mistake here instance let's see now all right similarly let's use the same notation for the second object also but it's creating a second instance which we don't want so what we'll do is we're gonna take a private static variable private static instance now we'll check if uh, self instance if this is not defined if it's not defined when only we can define and we'll store this in the self instance and we will always return the self instance that is whenever a call is made to this if instance is not de defined it will create the object and store in it for every subsequent call it always returns the instance that is stored in the static variable so let's try this right now if you see the basket object the instance is the first in the second call also you're getting the same instance and when I've entered the third entry it has registered in the same instance so our two desired tasks are done the first is creating of one instance second is stored values should always remain intact let me show an example we have defined these two with object a now with object b i'll call the two i'll clear this echo dollar b get two two is mango right let's see if mango is coming out mango it's working that means whatever is stored in it can be called with different objects all right there are few consequences in this since a singleton pattern can be accessed anywhere in the system they can serve two dependencies that can be hard to debug when a singleton is used the dependencies is hidden inside a method and nothing is defined in its signature so it is difficult to decode and it's also tough to understand the relationships in bit in the system and one important thing to note on a broad sense singleton approach and global variables are similar and singleton is a better choice to global variables because anything defined in global do not follow object principles like encapsulation and polymorphism and unlike classes global data cannot be pulled out of an application and used in another and it's also unprotected so it's quite damaging 
secondly php doesn't want if two globals are colliding globals can be easy to implement but singleton is always a better choice